Natural resource education is a part of the blue economy. At the Leslie Science and Nature Center, they set young students on the path to understanding their role in the blue economy. Susan Westhoff is the center's executive director. Our mission really is all about connecting people to their natural world, and that can be through education, it can be through inspiring them, um, providing opportunities for them to explore nature in a way that perhaps they haven't before. Before this property was dedicated to education and exploration, it was a home. Dr. Eugene Leslie and his wife Emily lived here. Eugene Leslie was a petrochemical engineer and a member of the faculty at the University of Michigan. He was an inventor with hundreds of patents to his credit. Emily Leslie ran the orchards and farm that were on the property. They didn't have children, but they loved having the neighborhood kids on their property and as they were nearing the end of their life, they realized they wanted to donate their property to the city. And so they did that and the city honored their memory by making it a science center. The Leslie Science and Nature Center offers programming for all ages, but their core audience is young children. Ada Heisler is the center's camp and public programs director. Our goal is to engage the next generation of environmental stewards by giving them hands-on experiences that are tangible, that are positive emotionally. A lot of it is about helping kids develop a strong connection to the environment, helping them understand that they are part of the environment and the choices that they make impact the environment. This is the Enviroscape, a small-scale version of a large issue. This interactive demonstration helps children to understand how the choices they make affect water quality and use. After being able to see a small scale demonstration of something that happens on a large scale, they're better able to understand that whole cycle and process and understand where they fit in there. At the center's critter house, children can get a close look at some of the animals their decision making might affect. David Klipner is the wildlife program director at the Leslie Science and Nature Center. He's in charge of the Critter House and the educational activities there. When we get our animals and we incorporate them into programming, what we try to do is make sure that we give a well-rounded kind of concept to these animals where they see not only what do these animals do in the wild and their wild counterparts, how they interact with nature, but also how do we impact them. And in the Great Lakes region, we waste water a lot and it's because we take it for granted. We have a lot of fresh water here. Going past the concept of polluting the water and just like simply valuing it as a resource and how valuable it is and making sure that they're keeping their, their use down to a minimum. You know, that's part of something that you wouldn't necessarily think someone might talk about when they're showing someone a turtle, but it's just as important as not polluting the natural waterways. Understanding how water is used and conserved is the key to making smart decisions that could affect the future of the blue economy. This is the generation coming up that's going to have to start reducing their use of the water and be more responsible with how they use water in general. Big concepts for little people, but at the Leslie Science and Nature Center, they have high hopes for the future. Kids understand cause and effect, right? They learn that at a very basic age. If I push this thing, it will fall over. And that's all we're talking about. Those of us who are adults now are re relying on the kids who we're educating um, to make good decisions for the future and to make decisions that are gonna impact all of us. Hopefully, kids coming here will have something that resonates with them, and later in the years it'll change a decision that they make. That's really the, the overriding goal of what we do. For more on the Great Lakes and the Blue Economy, please visit greatlakesnow.org.